We are now officially back. What is up, guys? This is The Average Johnny coming back to you with yet another Average video. And today I am continuing once again the series of the playthrough of The Simpsons Hit and Run, doing all the missions and stuff. Right now I am currently on level 3, also known as Lisa's missions. And yeah, uh, another episode. I was able to get another, squeeze another one in for this week. Hopefully that makes up for the fact that I was gone for like more than two weeks. So yeah, let's uh, let's hop right into it. Part, part uh, five. I think it's five. Yeah, part five. We are now beginning Lisa's missions. Last we left off, we finished off Bart's missions. Uh, I think I left out a race by accident. Sorry about that. But let's get this one underway. We are now heading to level. Three. Uh, before. Oh, you shut up. Get out of my face. All right. Uh, let's go right into the collector card on the top of the building. We already saw that. That one was always the easiest one to spot. There we go. Let's hop in, up in these buildings. Kill the wasp. Why are you running? Why are you running? Such wimps. I hate when they run, especially when this happens. Oh no. Oh, what the hell? I didn't know you could land here. Usually, typically, like, I would expect to, like, slip off or something, but now there's no way for me to get back up. That's fantastic. All right, let me knock this pole over. It's funny. It doesn't hurt her foot. I would expect it to. All right, back to the top. And you get to collect your card or the box, I believe. Great. There we go. All right. Let's get this underway. I wonder if I'm going to keep up my tradition of for like, uh, forgetting a collector card like I have in the past two levels already. I hope I don't have Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Alright, so now we're going to hop right into it. Let's get all the gags out of the way. Wait, no. If I click here, it's going to talk to him. Don't touch that. That is a ticket to the unreleased Itchy and Scratchy episode. I would only trade that for a complete set of collector cards. Please to note... I said complete. I'm not going through that crap again. <laughs> Damn. Just so blunt. This guy. Alright. I don't think I could get the gag. It's gonna... He's gonna end up uh, talking to him anyways. I need to yeah. find my stupid brother. Have you seen him? Yes, yes. Can't talk now. I must get the last copy of the new Itchy and Scratchy Adventures comic. It's the controversial issue in which they finally kiss. Assist me <laughs> aid you with your dilemma. The controversial issue. That is hilarious. All right. Let's do this. Here we are. We're going to race the nerd again. I remember in level two, I found it to be a little bit more challenging. Here, I find it to be easier just because there's a whole bunch of more shortcuts to go through. So it's not really that much of an issue at all. Why can't I drift right now? All right. This should be easy. This is going to be a piece of cake. All these shortcuts, man. Look at that. So simple. So easy. Level 2 does not have this many shortcuts. Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh, oh, crap. Just imagine. Do not screw this up, comic book guy. Look at that. You're a right there, and he almost messed it up. What is up with this car right now? I can't drift with it. Typically, I don't have that much trouble, but oh well. Near. Near mint condition. Can I have that happen? Near mint. Out of my way. Out of my way, everybody. Let's go. Alright, getting through everybody right now. We're almost there. Almost there! If you killed this with the entire minute, I would be so disappointed in myself. But we're here anyways. Simple mission is kick off level 3. Inky treasure into its Mylar sanctuary. What about Bart? I asked you, have you seen him? I, think I, I like how the comic book guy did it like a little reaction there. He put his hands up as if he was talking. Waste of money. Now to go online and bid $1,000 for itchy and scratchy corn cob holders. Terrific, terrific expense. Easy as Damn. If there really is a way to like get people to buy stuff like that, that would be freaking awesome. Okay, now let's talk about this mission. Uh, the one with Millhouse. 
uh, I believe it, yeah, it's called Clueless. Um, so this mission, I actually considered it to be one of the easier ones. And then there was a tiny little, uh, who was it? I think it was Nightbane Games. He brought up the fact that it was a little challenging at first because uh, I forgot what his reasons were, but I kind of was able to relate to what he was talking about because I also had some trouble as well to some extent. So yeah, I kind of had to rethink that one a little bit, but uh, just due to the fact that it's not really that difficult afterwards or really to begin with. Like maybe you'll fail like once or twice, but after that you'll get it like just right there. So I'll still consider it an easy mission. I don't know. But I totally got where him and other people were coming from. So yeah, there's that. All right, let's talk to them. Has Bart been here? Uh, I haven't seen him. Hey, can I buy your frozen yogurt? I'll throw in two dry toppings or one wet topping. Bart's disappeared. You have to help me find him. Well, he might be a Wally Weasel. He likes the smell of the ball cage. Uh, Wally Weasels. Alright, I'm not going to skip the dialogue because I guess someone didn't like that. So, I'll just try to let the whole thing roll on. Sorry about that. Let's drop to Wally Weasels. See, what might have been kind of dumb is like if I didn't know where Wally Weasels was and I would have ended up going somewhere super far. <laughs> and that just would have killed the entire mission there. That would have been pretty strange to happen. I think he's at the planet hype. The planet hype. My question is, why is he sending her to all these far places? Like, what was that going to do? He could have made up something at least a little bit closer. But, I guess, just for the sake of storytelling. Just a few more. Look at that sunset. So beautiful, man. It's incredible. That lens flare, too. Oh, God. Let's not crash too much. We already know we can go this way. There we go. Oh, snap. All right. There we go. And here we have Millhouse teleporting all the way over here somehow. Like, did he call an Uber or how the hell did he get here? Of course, uh, Uber didn't exist back in 2003, so obviously that was a joke. Some chewing gum. Why not? Alright, since I kind of know the shortcuts already, I'm going to just do this. Easily getting through that. Coming through this way. And... Making our turn. There's two ways you can go about this. You could either go through the actual studio or you could just go through this little path right here. It doesn't really matter. Either way will do. Once again, he teleported over here. What the hell? Alright, I'm on the sidewalk. Leave me alone. is not a good time. It's never a good time! <laughs> Bart always hung out at the Quickie Mart. Maybe Apu has seen him. I am the Leonard Queen! No, no use for that. You know what I just realized? Look how nice the waterfall looks. For the standard of 2003, that is pretty awesome looking. Now let's do what everyone loves to do. Kick Melhouse down the waterfall. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Check that out. And now we're going to see the bizarre happen. Where is he? Is he still there? There he is. You can kind of see him. Not really. No, I can't see him. All right. Let's see if I move this way. Oh, wow. He just walked his way all the way back up. Get back down there. Come on. Weekend dad. <laughs> what? He has a weekend dad. There we go. We can see him now. Look at that. Now, just look at the bizarre way he just walks up once he stands up. It's so weird. I don't know why they did something like that. It would have been cool if we could have hopped down there ourselves. Look, I never understood this next part. Just check this out. 
Oh my god, what a mountain climber. Check that out. Physics, logic, all that applies here. Let's go. Alright, let's go to Krusty Burger. Oh snap. What's another thing I can mention in level 3? Uh, let's see. Malibu Stacy car. So, when I did the top 10 cars list, a lot of people were uh, bringing up the Malibu Stacy car. I had like a number of comments regarding that saying that it was actually a really good car especially for the time that it was there obviously it's faster than Bart's car it's faster I think it's faster than Marge's vehicle yeah yeah it has more acceleration and which is all very fair points it actually is a very fast car maybe I should have included it but I don't know something about it just never appealed to me and it has nothing to do with the fact that she's a girl I'm not sexist or anything like that but <laughs> Uh, I don't know, like, something just never appealed to me about it. It is, an, it, is it does have really, like, uh, it is very useful because you can actually use it throughout the entire level. And you don't ever feel like you have to replace it, so, yeah, it is definitely a useful car in that regard. But, for some reason, I just didn't include it in my top 10. But I definitely get where all of you are coming from. Just leave it at that. Alright, so we got the collector card. Well, we are trying to collect as many as I can. And let's see. You know what? There's quite a lot to do here. That's crazy. I mean, it's a pretty big map. There's uh, quite a couple obstacles you have to go through. If it gets to that point, I might have to, like, uh, do a three-parter on this one. Just to get more done. In terms of, like, races, getting the collector cards, and all that cool stuff. Alright, so here's the third one. Zen. Very zen. All right, let's go. Let's go to Krusty Burger. Oh snap! Really? Okay, this is where Lisa's car is not that fast. It cannot get across the bridge that easily. Look at that! Oh god, I'm gonna end up destroying it. You know what? I might as well just go the other way because this is just gonna wreck my car. And I really don't got insurance to pay for this right now. There's no wrenches around. Is what I meant to say. Shut up. It's that same guy just bugging and bugging. Okay, let's get the wrench first. Fix our car before we go to Apu. Now let's go into a mission that I believed was pretty difficult. And I'm going to talk about it as we go through it. Why is that kid just standing there? This isn't your business, man. Get out of here. Alright, so here we are, uh, we're going to be doing this mission where we have to go after Cletus using Apu's car, this is when we first get that um, a glimpse of what a Apu's car is going to be like. It's pretty exciting because this car is pretty fast, so that's uh, something to look forward to. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? The reason I find this mission to be so irritating is because you really have to smack Cletus's Cletus car. One little smack is not going to do it. Like, you actually have to smack into him. You have to make an impact. Otherwise, it's not going to knock out any roadkill. And that is pretty annoying. Look at that. I smack into him, it didn't do anything. Right there. It's unpredictable. Like, what the heck? Oh, God. Look at that turn he just did. So it's not really the fact that he gets fast. It's just that he gets more durable. Like, he could take a hit this time. He can take a good hit. And look how far he gets. So he is kind of fast to some extent. But he is more annoying. Like, look at that. One tiny little smack will not do the job. You have to get you have to get a good amount of speed and smack into him. Otherwise, tough luck. There we go. He's stuck now. He's stuck. One more. Yeah, back then, I had so much trouble with this mission. I had a couple retries on this. It was frustrating because, as I was mentioning right now, you have to get a good hit on Cletus' car. Otherwise, it's not going to knock out the road kill out of his car. That was always irritating for me. So let's just get back to the quickie... I mean, not the quickie mark. Uh, the observatory. And that should end the mission. All right.
Let's go talk to Professor Frank. Professor Frank! Professor Frank! My brother Bart is missing! Have you seen him? Well, let's see now. Um, Bart helped me build a monster and then disappeared in a bright light. Wow, this is crazy. I need someone to talk to who's wise and learned. <laughs> learned. <laughs> Alright, let's get these gags out of the way. Got the monkeys. It's not a gag, but we have Ralph out here. Eating paste? Yep, he's eating paste. <laughs> it's always so random just seeing Ralph everywhere. He's such a likable character, though, just because of how weird he is. We got this. This is one of my favorite gags, this one right here. The silent alarm. It's just like, <laughs> oh my god. So ironic. It's just so Simpsons. <laughs> Silent alarm activated. We got UFOs. We got the planets. We got a black. Well, no, not a black hole. What are those things called? Not sure. Just imagine looking to a telescope and then we see all this crap. That would be pretty scary. All right. So, how many collector cards have we gotten? Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to just take a look at how much, we're, how good we are on time. Right now, we are still pretty good. Let's continue this. All right. I think I have time for one more mission and maybe a couple of collector cards Grandpa, on the way. Can you help me find so, let's Bart? do this. He's missing. Maybe I'm just a senile old man, but Bart's lucky red hat fell out of that black car. Wow, Grandpa. What a great clue. You showed why senior citizens are valuable members of the community. I think my baby teeth are growing back. That's why I had to punch that nurse. I better do <laughs> something big if I want to take that. I car. don't get why. Like that justifies punching bus. a nurse. Right, we need to get the school bus from Auto Man. So hungry. Need federally mandated breakfast. Federally mandated. Move out of the way, man. Come on. Alright, heading straight into it. We're gonna go straight to Auto Man. Auto Man, what's up? Alright, let me just get these gags real quick. This was always funny. We got a wasp to kill, some more money. Okay. I don't like going down that well. It's like a complete waste of time. Just takes you somewhere far away from where your car is. I think it's far away from a phone booth too, so that's even worse. All right, so we got the box, we got some extra cash, we got our gags. Let's get right into it. Otto, I know I'm a little young to be asking this. Look, I don't have any special brownies left. I ate them all. But do you think I can use your school bus? <laughs> oh right, cool. Meet my price, and she's all yours, little lady. <laughs> Doesn't mind at all. Just giving the big school bus to a little girl. Which is cool. Totally appropriate for the game. Let's go do some wreckage. We always love wrecking cars. Oh, did I miss? Oh, no. I thought that was a car already. All right, the black sedan. Gotta love the black sedans. There we go. He's almost done already. Look at that. Hardly even have to try. Where are you going? Where are you going? There we go. He's out of there. Drive to the Aztec Theater. So much time to get there. Well, we're not really timed on this, but yeah. Let's just run over some cars on the way. Maybe some people if they get in the way as well. Strip through the shortcut. More money. I don't know why. I like the look of the, the, the school bus. It's transparent. It looks really clean. It has a really nice look to it. I don't know why. It really appeals to me. Yo, this guy was trying to swerve me. Sometimes I forget that some of these cars really swerve. Oh, snap. Okay. 
try. Get what the heck? I hate when the big cars just tend to like knock over on its side. It's ridiculous. Like uh, I think during a race it'll be a total time waster. During a race it's a total time waster. Like when they just decide to land on their side, and you have to take time to rebuild it. I mean to regroup yourself. Try to the planet hype. All right, he's almost halfway done already. Got a minute to do so. Let's pick it up. Oh, snap. Goodness gracious. He's almost dead. My doors came out. It looked like ears. Come on, come on. There you go. Smack it to the wall. Smack it to the wall. Let me hit you. What? This guy really tried to slow down. Alright. Uh, so let's see. I completed mission four. So I think that will wrap it up for missions today. Let me just see if I could get some collected cards. Right now. Oh, snap. Okay. Careful. There's a collector card way up there, so we can get that one. And I believe there's another one on the ship. Not completely sure, though. Uh, why, why did I come all the way over here? I don't know. I wasn't that smart about this. All right, let's, let's go in there. Go in there. Get our collector card. And let's define the law of physics and fall the way down without hurting ourselves. I don't know why. I get anxious when I see falls like that. Like, really, really anxious. I, it's, part of it is because I'm afraid of heights, kind of. And yeah, like just the thought of seeing a child plow down so freaking so freaking high, it's scary for me. And I just get anxious. Literally, no reason for me to get anxious at all, but I do. Look at that pelican. Just looks weird. All right. Okay. So how many collector cards is that? I believe that's four. So we got four collector cards, four missions complete. Uh, you know what? I might have to turn this into a four, three-part series for this level specifically. So let me just get this last collector card, and we'll get ready to finish up for today. Maybe a side path would perk me up. Yeah, maybe so. Even I could feel how tired they get sometimes. Like, those are some pretty long walks. Okay, now let's just go make our way up here. And if I'm correct, you have to run all the way around. Poor Lisa, she has to run a lot. Phew. I should have paid more attention in the gym. <laughs> that is quite a lot of runs, I have to admit. Okay, so we got those done. Let's get all this cash and we'll be ready to save our game. So we'll see where it goes. We might do a three-parter just to complete the races as well. But for now, we're just going to leave it at that. We got uh, half the collector, more than half the collector cards. Uh, we got four out of seven missions done. Wow. And that will be it for today. To work on my so there we go. Let's save our game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. This was part five of the Simpsons Hit or Run walkthrough. Walking through the missions and some of the collector cards and some races and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys will tune in to see the next one. Hopefully you will have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next one.